the problem I really want help from this world. I share my message with everybody. Please, this video share, especially my uh, share it. If you know one Haitian, let them know I am really, I am really to work with everybody to see if we can make a difference in our country. I know where I come from. It takes me a lot to live the way we are living. I know I've been treating, you know, in so many different ways because the way we behave. But I am really for us to work together to make our country a better place to live with every single Haitian. Share this video for me. And I really need a partner to work with me because right now I'm really struggle because I have the idea and I know I have so many things I can do, but because I don't have too many help with me, so I cannot move in forward with my idea, please. I want someone can help me out with that and share this video until I get exactly where I want to be. Thank you. I want to welcome you to Dream Chasers Radio with me, your host, Yaya Diamond. What's up, people? How you doing? Yay! I got an author on the show today. Yay! Let me tell you something. Authors are just like the epitome of the beginning of everything. Things like history and children's books and mathematics books and just things to help us grow and become who we are today. The understanding, the knowledge, the, the everything, everything. Our laws are even in books, guys. Books are where it's at. And I want to welcome my guest today, Mr. Sefer, for being on the show and for writing his book, but Let's not do that yet. Let's not do that yet. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Anytime, anytime. So tell me something. We need to go back into your history a minute and tell me how books became important to you. But it's for me, it's something I grew up. Since I grew up, I wanted to do. But I just didn't know how to do it because I don't have anybody I know doing this. And I don't, I don't grow up in any environment that do that. But mm. until I come here, I start, you know, um, write thing and take about my knowledge going b- bigger and bigger until one day I decide to write book. Nice. Wow. Wow. So one day, just out of the blue. Yes. Yes. And since so many things keep popping in my head and I know. I believe I am a type of person believe in, believe in God. And I say, okay, if it's something, because the way things keep popping on my head, I say, it must be something I got to do. So I talk to so many people about it because uh, the, uh, English is my third language. So many people wouldn't think I will not, I will be able to make it. But I try, I try, even though I fell so many times, I didn't mm. give up. And then I keep moving forward until, you know, I got my book out. Wow. What is failure to you? I can say, you know, I fail because English is not, you know, I don't go to school to learn English. I only go to school for one year and I learn English on my own. Mm. So it wasn't easy to write the, the book. And the reason I say I fail because so many times, I tried to write the English. I couldn't. So especially my first two books. It, right now, my first two books is like 75% mistake I wrote on them. And right now I know how to correct them with no problem. Mm. Mm. That the reason I compare myself, you know, I failed so many times I didn't give up. Intelligence is not something that you learn at school. And a lot of people would would kind of combat me and say, oh, no, that's where you get it. No, you don't get intelligence from school. You get information from school. Yes. Intelligence is how you operate with that information. Yes. And you got your information just from inquiring. Yes, I can say 100%. Wow. Wow. So you didn't, you tell me you went to school for only one year. Is that one year as an older, like college? I didn't go to college. In my country, yes. I wrote, you know, 
I write and read my own language. But here in America, I, that days on, I learned how to speak Spanish too without going to school. I can read it, I can write it a little bit without going to school. Mm-hmm. Wow, wow. So tell me about your books. What was the first book that you wrote? I wrote uh, The Poor Truth. And The Poor Truth I, is, a, is a book I wrote so that uh, to share my knowledge with the whole world. So the, with the whole world, the country that poor, how they can get themselves out of misery. The one is good can become greater and that the way I send the message so that to see if we can make the world a better place to live. So our kids don't have to go through the same thing we went through. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And then after that, what seemed to weigh heavy on your heart to put out after that? Uh, honestly, it's really difficult for someone to believe it. Because when I started writing book is for me, it is easy. It is easy because I believe I got someone. I believe in God 100% because I believe someone inspired me to do it. Mm-hmm. The way things keep coming my way to write those books so easy. In three years, I am able to write 10 books in three years. It's not easy. It's, like, it's not like I know it's really hard to say, but every time I start write one book, another book already there. Wow. Wow. So what, you know, so, okay. So you have your new book out. We were, I was going to talk about that one. It's a children's book. Tell me about that. I can't hear you. Okay. There you go. I can hear you now. Okay. So I was saying that you have a new book out. It's a children's book. So tell me about that book. Uh, That book is a book, you know, um, is a crocodile in the hippo. Mm -hmm. It has so many things like to help us as parents, you know, to keep up with our kids. I know we are not perfect, especially kids. So to know exactly how we can handle the problem and then to move on, even though they make mistakes and how we can correct the mistake and keep up with them, never give up mm-hmm. until the last day we've been with them on earth. Because family is not one day job. Is they start from the beginning until the last day we are on this earth. Mm-hmm. Wow. Because I believe I say it, right now we is it's almost no family love no more. So which I'm trying to see as soon as much as possible how we can work together and that to make love be the first priority thing in the family situation. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So uh, let me ask you a question, because I know maybe some people are thinking, you speak three different languages. What yes. are those languages? And do you have books in those languages? Uh, no. Uh, I speak Creole because I'm Haitian, and I do speak Spanish and English. And you don't have books in Creole? Uh, not yet, but I believe one day I can translate them in Creole. And what about Spanish? Um, maybe Spanish too. Awesome. Awesome. That is so cool. I love that. I love that you speak three different languages and that you said you failed, but you kept going. What kind of advice do you give to people who may be in a moment of failure because English is just not their first language? What I want to tell them, you know, the first thing I want to tell them, God created all of us. He created all of us perfectly. And it create all of us with different way. We can, we smart in a different way. It doesn't matter what happened to your life. You know you can make it. You know you can do better. And don't let nobody stop you because me, I know how I feel. I know where I come from before I can get myself out there. Because so many people think I was crazy. They say so many things about me, but I didn't let, let that thing hold me back. Mm-hmm. I did my best to get, to prove, not prove them. I didn't want to prove nobody I can make it. I challenged myself to show myself I can do it. Because you know it's yourself. You don't live by people. You live by yourself. Everybody have a life. You got to make sure you make the good best out of it and to show the world 
you are a part of the world just like everybody else. Wow. Well, I want to thank you so much, Mr. Sever, for being on the show. Thank you so much for having me today. Anytime, anytime. And I want to go ahead and put the crocodile and the hippo is also on Amazon. We're going to put that link in the description box below so that you guys can get that for yourselves and for your children. I think that it's so important to actually have that legacy and to and to share share your knowledge and to share your ups and downs. And definitely the crocodile and the hippo is going to be something that you can read to your children, also that your children can read to you. Thank you so much, Mr. Savera. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me today. Anytime, anytime. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to dare to be different. And until next time, guys, bye. I did to be different